winner of Tusker Project Fame 6 will receive a grand cash prize of 5 million Kenya shillings sponsored by Tusker and a one-year recording contract with Sony Music. Terms and conditions apply. The winner is Valerie. The winner of Tusker Project Fame is Esther! Esther! And the winner is Alpha! Is Davis. 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 Ruth. Hey, Sema, Sema, what's up? What's going on, East Africa? Welcome to Tusker Project Fame Season 6. My name is AKA Dr. Ronaldo Michele Guang. You can call me anything you call me as long as you call me. And of course, we've got my beautiful, deliciously, unbelievably, breathtakingly gorgeous co host, Joy Mozengi. Thank you, Mitch. Yes, and Thank ladies you. and gentlemen, I gotta tell you, yesterday we had an unbelievable show. It was the first ever non-eviction eviction show here on Tusker Project Fame. Yeah, it was, but we still have eight acts uh, left in the Tusker Project Fame Academy. So let's get to meet them all from Kenya. Please welcome Amos, Josh, and Nyambura. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, Mugambachi, all the way from the Pearl of Africa. Let's give it up to Kojo and Daisy. <laughs> yes, and from Rwanda, we have Fiona and Patrick. And ladies and gentlemen, these guys are riding so low. We call them the Lone Rangers, all the way from Tanzania. Let's give it up for Hisia. And last but not least, we cannot forget the man with the big voice from Burundi. It's Hope. I'll tell you. You, you, you know, Joey, on Tusker Project fame, <laughs> for as far back as I can tell you, yeah. we have never had five countries right here at this point of the game. Two weeks to go and yeah. all five of them are still there. Yeah, no, definitely we're having a lot of firsts this season on Tusker Project Fame Season 6, but tonight it's business as usual. Before the end of the night, we're going to have some of these contestants on probation. Yep, like we told you, there's going to be no mercy. No retreat, no surrender. People are going to be packing their bags in the next couple of weeks because at the end of the season, only one person can be left standing to walk away with that money. You smell that money, smell that. <laughs> that is five million Kenya shillings in cash. Huh? Yes, yeah, so what this means is that there might be double evictions, there might be triple evictions happening or, or, or in the even, next couple of or weeks. Or even quintuple or quadruple, sextuple. all of them. Yes. Anything can happen on Tusker Project Fame this yep. season. And that means that it's good news for you guys, you know? All you gotta do is that you gotta, man, you know, you work on the fingertips. Keep sending those SMSs, log on to Tusker.mobi, vote for free, but vote, 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 vote. Yeah, so remember voting lines do open after tonight's probation show and next weekend, at least two contestants are going to be headed home. Now, last night the contestants had to deliver some performances that were specifically chosen by the judges and I think there was a little bit of payback from the judges deciding that there was no probation last week. Okay, well, they had a sincere blast you will not believe. You know, we had voice coach Kavutha who was organizing. Uh, we had Coach Edu. Yeah. You saw the robotic moves, the, man. The, the dancing oh. at the end. No, oh, that, was, that was killer, was man. Very hard. Unbelievable stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, like I tell you, man, this entire show is jam-packed with action. Yeah, I mean, nobody can say we've been predictable this season. And tonight is no different. 
music director slash principal Eric Wainaina is in the house leading the show tonight. Please give him a hand. Also welcome our lovely voice coach Kavuda Mwanzia Asio. And the main man who brings us hot dancers from Sarakasi is our lead choreographer Edu Odiambo. And not to forget Mr. Crucial Keys, Erin Rimbu is in the house. And of course, we've got to welcome the Tusker Project fame band on drums, George Mutinda. On guitars, we have Kato Change. And on bass guitar, Asaf Uzele. Yep, and um, next up, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's, it's one of the most interesting parts of the show. And I've gotten a lot of backlash, by the way. Why? People on social media are saying that, that oh, um, I'm, I'm not showing any love to Mzee Wakazi. Mzee the Jogo, which yes, one? Yes, so now, today, I've decided that I am not going to do anything special for the other judges. It's okay. Gonna, it's going to be plain and simple. Everyone's equal And tonight. today is a special day for Ian Mbukwa. Okay, let's do it. So, ladies I'm and gentlemen, um, it's with great pleasure that I'd like to introduce the judge, the bald-headed guy from Tanzania, huh? <laughs> judge, judge Hermes Bariki. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce also Juliana Kanyomozi from Uganda, the singer. <laughs> the wow. singer, that's, that's it. Cold. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure that I'd like to introduce somebody who is extremely special. He says what other people do not dare to say. Mm. He's a young, hard-working, handsome young man. Yeah. With great pleasure, let's introduce a man who knows the fundamentals. Huh? Ah! Let's give it up for Judge Ian Mbukwa. You win. No, you win. You win. I won't even say anything about that. But also in the house oh, tonight, we've got representatives all the way from South Africa, from Sony Music. They will be recording with the winner of Tusker Project fame. So please welcome the CEO of Rockstar 4000, Mr. Jeanre Lowe, and CC Kuzwayo, head of production, all the way from South Africa. They're here with us tonight. So, Haribu Sana. All right, and um, ladies and gentlemen, also in the house, it's with great pleasure I'd like to introduce a personal friend of mine. He's one of Kenya's most prolific songwriters and singers. He's in the house, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Adwar. <laughs> and also at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's a great pleasure to also introduce um, Atemi, yes. Atemi Oyungo, yes, how are you doing? Good to see you, sweetheart. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, also, Olympic athlete, 2008 gold champion winner, man, 800 um, from gold from Beijing, Mr. Wilfred Bungai. Big round of applause to him, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a huge round of applause to him. Okay, so you need to stay tuned tonight. Tonight Why? we're doing something different. We said this show, we always surprise you this season. So after the break, we are coming to you from the land of Coconut Brown and the Seven Benga Dwarfs. It's going to be a musical. It's going to be intense. It's going to be Afro cinema mixed with music, mixed with everything that is great. They're going to feature tracks from Michael Jackson, Eric, Eric Clapton. Clapton. Yes. yes, I see Papa Wemba's on the list tonight, Robin Thicke, and of course, Chris Adwoa. Yes, and the one and only Eric Wainaina also. We've got some of his songs featured here tonight, so stay tuned. This is Tusker Project Fame, Season 6.
Yes, I, I welcome all. all una welcome all. Huh? <laughs> Sweetheart, my, my queen, please say hello to, to our, our guests. Please say hello. Oh, do I speak? Talk Am I allowed now, to speak? What's wrong? Okay, hello. Yes. Uh, hello. Yes, Karibu sana. My welcome queen, back. My queen, please. Oh, please, thank you. Please thank walk. you. Thank you. Yes. I, I think it's time for you to clap for the, for the king and the queen. Yes. Yes. Princess, please sit. Please sit. You know, Tonight is about storytelling, my yes, darling. Yes, yes it is. You, you know, storytelling is very important. Huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, the story starts many years ago when there was, there was King Mitch, yeah. who was there in, his, in, in, the, in the kingdom of uh -huh. Tusker Project fame. Yeah. Huh? And he was surrounded by many beautiful women throwing uh -huh. rose petals. Huh? Okay. And that, the story continues for many years, etc. That's know, the story you remember. You that is not the story. That is not the correct story. Let me tell you the correct story, okay? It goes a little something like this. Okay. Once upon a time, any good story has to sound like that. Okay. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there lived a king and a queen. Okay. All right? And then the king's wife died. So he remarried the prettiest woman in the land. That's how, that's how it started. Yeah. Th that doesn't sound like a very nice fairy tale. Huh? No, it does, it's, listen, it's just starting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but actually, I remember a little bit. So. This new queen was, was, was a piece of work. She was just a pain in the wrong spot. Huh? <laughs> and, and, and she wanted the, the, the king's daughter to be sent away to a faraway school. Is that it? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now, see, like what that. happened with this queen is that, you know, she was just like, you know, you ladies who have this headache. Huh? Oh, I, I'm better looking than you. I've got better makeup. <laughs> when you do my hair is like this. I do my nails at this place. Yeah. So she was looking in the mirror every single day for 21 years saying that I'm the most beautiful. I'm the most beautiful. Huh? So that's how the story goes. Until right? she was replaced, the king's daughter came back from Campo. She had grown up. Uh -huh. And she was the prettiest in the land. Caused a lot of problems. Hey. Okay. So that day you're saying the the mirror said coconut brown. Coconut brown. That's the, that was the king's was daughter. Was the hottest chick in the land. No longer the queen. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow, so at that moment, Queen Daisy lost the plot. She became annoyed. She was like, no, this cannot happen. And she huffed and she puffed and she had this to say. Take it right. I saw your face in broad daylight. I'm telling you just how I feel. Gonna hurt your mind, but shoot to kill. Come on, come on, they don't make
Yeah, she, she, she's really bad. Oh, she's huh? bad, she's uh, bad. My, my queen, let me tell you, there can only be one diva in the house at the same time. Yeah. You put two women in the same place. <laughs> that was happening in the academy That's right what now. Was There's happening. three women. Uh, and so between Queen Daisy and, and Princess Coconut Brown, yeah. it was a no-no. Yeah, no, there was issues and of course, the king was not happy now because Coconut Brown is all grown up. There's men lining up at the palace wanting to wed her. I mean, it was quite a lot of drama. To wed or just take her out for a kawan? No, when you're, when you're royalty, you wed. Yeah. yeah, there's no time for dating. Oh, just okay. wed. All right. Yeah. Well, anyhow, the thing is that now, the, the, the moody queen Daisy was now totally out of control. So now, we're asking ourselves, what was Coconut Brown going to do? She had to go back to where she came from. And the king was so sad. King was so so sad. If I could reach the stars. Joe singing his rendition of Eric Clapton's Change the World. Queen Daisy also joining them on stage right now. Thanks to Michael Jackson uh, on Bad earlier. So judges, so far, what are you thinking? Let's start with Judge Ian. Daisy, clumsy, under-rehearsed. Yes, it was bad. <laughs> Kojo, boring. I wish this tab had games. I'd be playing. Okay. Uh... Judge Juliana? Um, just like Ian said, I felt like it was not rehearsed, your performances. Daisy, your chorus was off key. You went off key, you know that. That was not good. Being a great vocalist the way you are, that was not right. Um, Kojo, your verse before the chorus, are you supposed to, is that a break or did you forget lyrics? Was that a break? To be honest, um, huh? to be, to be honest I've forgotten the lyrics. You, you look like you forgot the lyrics. Yeah, that's Just true. look bad. 
Okay, Principal Eric. Well, um, just to speak in Daisy's defense, first of all, you know she's singing a, a song that was uh, uh, pitched for a guy. So she's, in the second verse, she's sort of taking it up an octave and is having to come down an octave to come back to the bridge. And so that was always presenting a bit of, of, of a problem, but I think she did a pretty good job at it. Um, Kojo, yes, he has to, to work on his lyrics, but he's a fine, talented man, and I think he, he can do better, for sure. Okay, thank you very much to Kojo and Daisy. All right, um, welcome back to Tusker Project Faith, the fantasy love story. We have an out of control princess, and we've got the dwarves here. A lot of you are wondering, which story is this which I've never heard? Never heard of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? This is the African remix one time, Fidem Com. So, we've got the Benga dwarves here. I think there are seven of them, and we've got the princess. So, what happens in the story next? Stick around and you'll find out after the break on Tusker Project Faith, season six. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, loyal subjects, I welcome you back to Tusker Project Fame. Tonight is story time, and we'll tell you the story of Coconut Brown and the seven Benga dwarves. So, if you missed out, maybe you've just run in home and you've driven like mad, you're asking, what's happening in the story? This is it. The evil queen is plotting murder. The king is crying. Princess Coconut Brown is about to fall in love. So the question is, how can that happen? Coconut Brown has been in lockdown ever since her home returned. So now what does she do? She calls upon her Benga dwarfs to go and save her. So they scale the tower and then they, they, they kidnap her and jump down. And then to celebrate this heroic mission, this is the time when she decides to fall in love. Okay, so meanwhile, <laughs> I found some doors back here. Apparently, they're the ones who rescued Coconut Brown from the palace. Turns out they're her best friends. They're in love with her, but things just don't work out that well. Can you see them, first of all? <laughs> things never work out when you have that height challenge and you're broke. Can you, can you just please, can you? I, I'm not talking to myself, I promise. These are <laughs> the two doors. Are you guys okay? Are you not okay? Actually, you know what? Just, just scurry off, eh? I understand you're going to look for some Kenchi or maybe some Java. So, so I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and get on stage, better known as Amos and Josh coming up next. Yeah. 
Josh singing Can Chick, originally done by Chris Ladoir and the Villagers Band. And we have uh, Miss Coconut Brown herself. She sang uh, In Love with a DJ by Yvonne Chaka Chaka. So let's speak to the judges right now. You see the dwarf situation I was talking about. Judge Hermes. Hey, Fiona. Good choice of song. You were confident and your interpretation was great. I think this is one of your best performances tonight. And Amos and Josh, I think you guys are, are, are very good together. I think you guys understand each other. The, the choice was good. Your interpretation was good as well. The theatrics, not too much, but I enjoyed the show. Okay. Judge Juliana? I felt like Fiona had the right choice of song for your kind of voice, and you did it just fine. I wish it could have been better, but it was still okay. Amos and Josh, let me first tell you this. I love your confidence. When you come out of there, you pull me in even before you start singing. And you sound so good together. I love your voices. Okay, thank you, Juliana. Judge Ian, do you have a word? Fiona, below average, not your best. You know you can do much better than that. You know that. And it's good to have you guys back together. But now you need to start moving up. Don't flatline. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Principal Eric. Uh, wonderful, as always, from both of you. Ian, good job. Thank you very much. Okay. Chris Adwa, who's in the building tonight. Well, I, I think magic happens when you guys sing. When you guys sing together, it's amazing. And it, it could have even been fundamentals you were singing and it would still have rocked <laughs> like that. Thank you. Thank you, I'm honored. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so um, after the break, the story continues. What's gonna happen? Will the princess actually now stay in love? What will happen with King Kojo? What about the dwarfs? Will they find the other five dwarfs? Well, there's so many things that can happen in this story. Ladies and gentlemen, Tasca Project fame continues with more Afro cinema after the break.
Ka wakati wa mwisho uliongea kuhusu kununua shamba kama uwekezaji. Wacha nikwambie. Njia ya kufanya uwekezaji bora ni kupunguza hatari ili mambo yasiende mrama. Ndio njia ya kupata mafanikio kwa maisha. Isitoshe, tukifanya mambo yetu pamoja, tunafaulu na kupata bei bora. Kwa kweli umefanya uwekezaji kwa makini sana na ni vizuri mmekuja check up pamoja. Na je, mnapunguza hatari kwa rasilimali yenu muhimu kabisa ya jamii yako na ya mtoto wako ambaye hajazaliwa? Unamaanisha nini? Mnafahamu hali yenu ya HIV. Si tumewana. Kufahamu hali yenu inamaanisha mnasimamia hatari kwenu na kwa watoto wenu. Na vile vile mnavyoangalia angalia uwekezaji wenu mara kwa mara pia inafaa kufahamu hali yenu ilivyo. Afya yenu ndio akiba kuu katika maisha yenu. Wacha udhanifu, tembelea kituo cha afya mpimwe hali yenu ya HIV. All right, welcome back to Tusker Project Fame. Una welcome to another session of Afro Cinema. And I'm sitting here with the music director. That's right. Principal Y. Naina. Oh. Principal Y. Naina. You know, people were complaining the other day that you're now intimidating me, Wana. Huh? <laughs> it, it, it is your swag. But Y. Naina, we all know who you are, but this is a killer name. Accept it. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> back to the issue here. Now, uh, <laughs> what the heck is Afro Cinema? Well, I was just telling this story through, uh, through music and... Uh, what happened was I was reading my kids this fairy tale about uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and I just couldn't bring myself to talk about Snow White in this East Africa of ours. So yes. I decided, I thought a change of name was good. So you thought of Coconut Brown and, and the Seven Benga Dwarfs? And the Seven Benga Dwarfs. But how come I only see two dwarfs on today's well, production? There's a, a long story. It's because of these guys over here. What first happened, what happened first of all, we had two guys um, who, uh, the, the first dwarfs, uh, went to Uganda oh. and formed Undercover Brothers and they are doing Webalenyo. Oh, Did Kale. I say that right? Kale. Stigera. Stigera. Yeah. Yes, I understand. Evolunch. Yeah, so those are the first two those dwarfs. Those are two. And then uh, we lost Bjor. Bjor was another dwarf. He was another dwarf. Okay. He went to the Republic of South Sudan. The American Sudan. American Sudan. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we lost Fess, who's got political aspirations, by the way, and he's doing his thing. So he's a political short man. He's a political dwarf. Political dwarf. That uh -huh. didn't come out right, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, any other dwarfs? Uh, we lost um, uh, the gentleman from Tanzania. Who? Um, Hey, the guy who disappeared. Dubat. The first. Dubat, yes. yes. Dubat, yes. So, so that, those were the dwarves for you, huh? Those were the dwarves, and we missed peace as well. Okay, fine. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You have the story behind Coconut Brown. Why, why don't we continue the story? Huh? Joey, what's happening now? Yes, Afro Cinema continues after that message. So, at this point, the evil queen is continuing to plot. She wants coconut brown gods. So, what does she do? She finds a nice man in a blue uniform. She, she gives him kitukidogo, says, Can you make this woman disappear? So, Mr. Officer, are you ready? Do you want my hat or this one? Because this, you know, you can have whichever one. Yeah. This one is okay? It's okay All right, bad. there you go. All set. <laughs> Oh, 
to Patrick. Okay, so that's the police officer who was paid off by the evil queen. He took the money. He was supposed to get rid of Coconut Brown, but, you know, he looks like a guy who likes to have fun. So guess what he did? Took the tubes, went Costo, had a good time. And then he came back trying to look for Coconut Brown and she was gone. With the dwarfs, everybody's disappeared. And I think Mitch can tell us what happened next. Oh yeah, but th this story is too complicated. You know, I had to now dig deep and, and get my connections. And I found out that actually Coconut Brown went and met some, some hustler in a club. And you know the thing is that when a, when a good guy, actually a good chick meets a bad guy, it is what they call a love that can go bad, not so? Yeah, yeah, so let's give it up for this man. It's a fatal attraction in the works. a bad guy just doesn't end well so here's coconut brown she's met the bad boy that was set up uh, by the queen they're hanging out the next thing you know coconut brown is found in a ditch in a ditch in a coma so now the king is like how do i get my dear coconut brown to wake up he calls his sister the auntie of coconut brown who's been taking care of her since she was a child trying to see if there's any type of juju that can help coconut brown wake up but so far it's just it's not looking good I'm so tired of being here Suppressed by all my childish fears But if you have to leave I wish that you would just leave Cause your presence still lingers here But you scream, I'd fight away all 
by Immortal by Evanescence, joined also by Hisia and Patrick. Judge Ian, what are you thinking so far? Patrick, did you own the song? No. You didn't own the song. I keep saying, if you're going to do a cover, make sure you don't try and do it like the original. Own the song. Hisia, there was shouting. Shouting is not seductive. The chick would flee. The guys were competing who would be louder. And you all won. Nyambura, you captured the nuance of the song. That was beautiful. Thank you. Okay, Principal Eric. Well, I'm just gonna, I think we're gonna make a habit of ah, just disagreeing ah, ah. with Ian. Um, Patrick, first of all, Patrick, you took a song in a language that you're not familiar with and you did it perfect justice. I'm telling you, as the man who wrote the song, that that was a damn good performance. <laughs> could you say anything else? I could. Of course not. But we'll take it out. If I wrote okay? it, I'd say it was absolutely fantastic, better than I did it. I would have a justification to say that <laughs> was bad. <laughs> <We'll>... <laughs> no. Um, that eloquence, I, I didn't get that. But Patrick, good job. Hisia, you got the complete feel of that song. You brought the appeal, you know. Yabura, you're fantastic as always. Well done to the three of you. Thank you very much. Okay, Judge Juliana. Oh, um, well, uh, Patrick, I actually disagree with Ian. You own the song. I loved it. He's here. You brought that on like no one could. Yeah, thank you. And Yambura, Yambura, oh, for me, in terms I'm of vocal you, growth, you're the there best. There is drama. That is what a free cinema is all about. We keep bringing you drama. We have got now the <laughs> wicked old stepfather there. Huh? And we've got a handsome prince, principal, who is also there fighting for the rights of the people. But more will come up on Tusker Project Fame Season 6. Stick it right here. It's coming up at the break. All right, it's Tusker Project Fame season six, and you're all there clapping, you're an excited person, but why? Have you won half a million Kenya shillings? Well, you haven't yet. It's probably because you're not playing. Well, let me tell you what, congratulations to two individuals who walked around with actually half a million Kenya shillings. Yes, Esther and Chebet, congratulations to you. But um, you can also be a winner because we've had close to over 285,000 people play so far, but we've had 19,600 people plus who have won prizes. So, you ready? Let's go. Today's winning number is 4343. 43. So SMS this number plus the six digit code which you find underneath the crown of your Tusker to 21001 if you're in Kenya or 8338 if you're in Uganda. So get those SMSs coming in ASAP and you never know what kind of prizes you could win with Tusker Project Fame Season 6. Okay, back with our story tonight. So this is what's happening. Let me just catch you up on the storyline so far. The princess is in a coma. Bengadorfs are upset, they've stopped speaking to people, gone offline. The queen is feeling like she's the hottest thing in the land once again, but the king is distraught. His poor daughter has not woken up, so the king goes on social media. On Facebook, on Twitter, he puts out messages, sends messages to everyone, says whoever is going to wake my daughter up, 
is going to get a great reward. And if you haven't seen those messages, you're probably not following us on the right channels. Let me just catch you up. It's Tusca Laga if you are on Facebook. So like our page. If you're on Twitter, use the hashtag TPF6. You can use the words of the contestants that you like with team in the beginning there. And of course, remember to register yourself online at tusca.mobi so you can get voting for free. But back to the story. There is no good story that has no heroes. So, of course, a Prince Charming had to come to the rescue. Let's head over to the judges. Uh, let's start with Judge Hermes. Oh, taking on Papa Wimba's song is not a simple thing, my friend. Your vocally were very strong, and honestly, tonight, personally, I was, it was like I was watching your performance. Your rendition was just beautiful. You did a great job, and you're a very good performer as well. Well done. Uh, let's hear from Kavutha. Um, for me, I, I think today, hope this is really nice. It was powerful yet restrained. There was, and then I think the chord at the end was fantastic as well. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Judge Ian, you must have something to say. Also. Oh, of course. I love the suit. I want to get one like that. <laughs> I'm going to get one like that. Yes. Thank you. That was one of the better performances of the evening. Good. Okay. Uh, Eric, Principal Eric. I hope you're fantastic. Um, I love the fact that you played your acoustic guitar there in the middle over there. And I agree with uh, Ian that it was horror. It was a fantastic, fantastic performance. I mean, your, your, your choices, your vocal choices are always on point. You're a wonderful, wonderful performer. Gracias. Yes. We have harmony on the couches. I like it. 
All right, it's Tusker Project fame. Guess what now? We've won the prince. Prince Hope has awoken the princess. Man, it's gonna be a celebration, serious party. We've got all the people from the kingdom of Tusker. They're gonna be singing a song from San Fan Thomas. It's called Sicha. But guess what? On the brass, we've got Mark Horton, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause. On the trumpet, we've got Bill Rowe. On the saxophone, we've got Michael Olatunji. And on percussion, let's give it up for Marvin Maveke. Oh yes, yes, my, my queen, that honestly marks the end of a true, beautiful love story. Yeah, true love prevails in the end, always. Yes, yeah. for those of you missed out, yes, Coconut Brown and the Seven Benga Dwarves man was a breathtaking one. But that's not the end of the show. We've now got ooh la 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 la, let's go dancing, plus hot, 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 coming up after the break on Tusker Project Fame, season six. <laughs> Friends and the Cold Tusker.
Welcome back to Tusker Project Fame Season 6. Tonight we've enjoyed Afro Cinema, courtesy of Principal Y. It's been a fantastic show. But guess what? It's time now for action. You know, it's all about performances. So we got a song called Ooh La 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 from Arrow, but we're going to kick it off from something from Cool and the Gang. So, <laughs> hey, you ready? Let's go. Ooh. Uh-huh.
yeah. Looking hot, sounding hot. Let's give him a huge round of applause. These are the contestants <laughs> of Tesco yes. Project Fame. All's season well six. that ends well. A huge shout out to music director slash principal Eric Wainaina for putting this all together this week. Eric, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, everyone, I think, brought their top game. Challenging, um, but I think we, we pulled it off. We did. We yeah. sure did. Judge Ian, do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> turn, um, his, turn his mic off. <laughs> turn his mic off. <laughs> do you have no comment, Ian? No comment. No comment. <laughs> okay, we'll All take right. that. Okay. Well, the, the performances are over. However, there must be probation in the next few minutes, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming up after the break on Tusker Project Fame Season 6. <laughs> Stage with friends and a cold Tusker. All right, it's Tusker Project Fame Season 6, and thank you so much for the tweets coming in. You can follow Joey at Joey underscore Muzengi or myself at, at Dr. Mitch. Uh, what's my <laughs> what's, oh, yeah. yes, what's uh, Dr. Mitch <laughs> ER yes um, I got a tweet here from somebody Joy who said now check this out mm. ooh la 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 feeling hot king Mitch oh and, okay and, and you're Queen, only the, reading the good ones about no, the good you one, no, it's, it's, it says something about you uh, Queenie J should have been in the forefront dancing also next week next week watch this space but um, just like we said it's all over it's now time for the action which is called probation yes now remember next week Two contestants will be headed home, but this is over to the judges now. Judge Ian, who's going on probation this week? Clearly, there's been a lot of disagreement with my judging today. So this is making it really, really difficult. Because we, the judges, couldn't decide on who exactly was going to go on probation. It was back and forth, so and so, so and so. So I think, I think. What do you think, Jesse? <laughs> do we toss a coin? Do we just alphabetical order? As long as you don't okay. let Mitch decide. Anyone else here can decide, just not this one. Okay, let's do this. First of all, the faculty are all on probation. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so they're the first ones. Okay. <laughs> and then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are on probation. All of them. The whole lot. Everyone is yes. on probation this week. Yeah. Let the public who disagree so much, let them save all of them. Okay. So last week, no one went on probation. This week, everyone is on probation. Yes. Uh, Principal Eric. Okay, so first of all, I have the dubious distinction of being the first time. Do you get all the students on probation? Is that, is that the first time this has happened? This is I the first time. It might Congratulations, be. Yeah, you're history, Eric. Congratulations. <laughs> and you are the first one to go on probation as well. <laughs> well, I just want to say that uh, we'll get you back. I know this is because of last week. We'll get you back. Me and these guys, we're going to get you. <laughs> bring it on. We will bring it on. Okay. All right. So all the contestants, can you please step forward? <laughs> you're all on probation. <laughs> now, to be able to vote for your contestants, you got to make sure you SMS their Tusker numbers to the numbers on your screen. Favorite contestants, you got to start voting. Because if you don't vote for them, someone is going home. Voting lines are going to open on, actually, in the next couple of seconds. Yes, 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock till midnight on Friday. So, the voting numbers, let's start off with, with Daisy. It's Tusker 7. 
That's Daisy's number. Amos and Josh. Amos and Josh. Amos and Josh. That is Tusca Six. Tusca, Tusca six. six. Nyambura. You want to vote for Nyambura? Price of ten. Two tomatoes. Tusca ten. Then, then we've got our main man, Hope. Hope is Tusca four. Tusca four. We've Kojo. Got Kojo, yeah. Yeah. Tusca five, if you want to vote for Kojo. Fiona, Fiona is Tusca 13. We've got Patrick. Patrick, Patrick is Tusca 9. And we've got Hisia, Tusca 12. Okay, so all right. There we have it. I think it's about time for us to reveal the music director for next week, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Temi the Diva herself, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a huge round of applause. You got a tough job ahead of you. Yes, and Tim Rimbu is also going to be joining her as music director next week. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that is going to be like. Remember, you can register at Tusker.mobi to vote online for these contestants for free this week. Yep, so it's about time for us to say good night. We'll be back same time, same place next week on, on actually we're going to be at, at 7.30 p.m on Citizen TV, Urban TV and TV West in Uganda. Yes, it's EA TV in Tanzania with the rebroadcast at 10 p.m. on ITV. Rama TV, if you're watching us in Burundi, Rwanda TV in Rwanda. Citizen TV in South Sudan with the rebroadcast on SSTV at 10 p.m. Yep, it's a good night from the King and I wish you all my loyal subjects a wonderful <laughs> night in East Africa. Stay at you well. Good night, see you.